about that. The solidarity of skin color won the day. And you need to be honest about that. Right now, our target is white supremacy. Is that, is Trump white supremacy? is not goddamn white supremacy. White supremacy is when we say, I'm gonna send my kids to a suburban school. When we take ourselves out of the cities, and when we take the tax base out of our community. That is white supremacy. When we don't lay down in front of the trucks that are taking our bodies into prisons, that is white supremacy! Trump is just today's face. Trump is just today's face of white supremacy. The Speaker of this House, the Speaker of the House right here, Nicholas Mattiello, sent out a mailing to his white constituency calling my comrades, my sisters, my brothers, illegals. Fuck that! about how he made families less secure yes. because of his stance protecting white supremacy. Never have to feel that way. Oh, oh, that shit! Who stood up? Who stood up when that mailing went out? Who stood up when Joe McNamara, the president of the Democratic Party of Rhode Island, said, we have a big tent that covers everybody, even the people that take corporate money and Only take it out of our communities. In the face of adversity. Holy the righteous. I wish, so here's the thing, and I agree with you, <laughs> is that though we know the story that the arc of justice bends towards, or the arc of history bends towards justice, we have to bend that motherfucker. Speaker Mattiello, it's not going to be Gina Raimondo who never opened her mouth about prison policy. It's not going to be a wage policy that keeps people poor, and you know that! Rejecting white supremacy means that you must reject your whiteness! And if you don't, if you don't, you are complicit in the murder of black bodies, in the rape of women, and in the displacement of our communities. And you know that! <laughs> we talked about the four years, but this goddamn fight started 35, 50 years ago. And every time we get close to the goddamn gate, white solidarity crushes working class solidarity. <laughs> And we watched it happen on Tuesday! Yes. Was it your family? Was it your father? Was it your cousin? Was it your uncle? Did you organize them? Did you educate them? Did you? Did you? Yeah, my man! So anyway... If we're gonna look at class solidarity, who is here with class solidarity? Who here wants to 
wants to fight for a strong middle class. Woo! So that's some bullshit, you know it. Because yep. if we're going to have a middle class, that means there's an underclass. Yeah. Yeah. And guess who that is? Yeah. Take a look at my face and look at the underclass today. Look at your neighbors. Did you grow up in a place that was secure, clean, had a nice school? Wait, Joe, as much as I agree with that in principle, but as much as I agree with the fact that as working people, we are peaceful people. We are not. We don't want to. We don't want to fight. We don't want to hate each other. While, while we're working on this, we have to consider what it means to organize as people of color. I can tell you one thing right now. I can tell you one thing right now. When we look at how the vote happens, when we... No, you're not, baby. You're not a hot dog. Just let it talk. When we looked at how the vote played out on Tuesday, we saw which populations betrayed the working class. We watched it happen. We watched once again as black women carried the day and said th and did the right thing as they always do. It means that our organizations, all of our organizations need to look at what our leadership and our membership is and ask ourselves the question, what is the agency that put me in charge? And if you can't answer that question honestly and say, I'm here because I knew a guy, I knew a guy, I knew a guy, That's how it is what then I'm you are taking it away from one of my sisters. White supremacy requires you to reject the trappings. To fight this, you have to reject the trappings of whiteness. And the trappings of whiteness means the benefits of saying, I'm moving to Canada. It means rejecting the trappings of saying, well, I can get through it. Because you know as well as I do, the people who are going to get punished by the next four goddamn years are working people. But there is more importantly, it's going to be people of color is how the violence of the next four years is going to play out. So either you own it or reject it. Do we reject white supremacy? Yeah. Are we going to let them know in this building that we reject white supremacy? Yeah. Are we going to call out white supremacy in all of its forms when it shows 